The legal team for impeached Attorney General Ken Paxson said that their client committed no crimes and they're working to delay the start of what's expected to be a summer trial in the Senate. Ken Paxton will never, never be convicted by the Senate. Not on this evidence, not with this record, and not when the fact is the allegations are completely untrue. The Senate trial of Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton is shaping up as a battle of high-powered Houston super attorneys. Two weeks after Paxton was impeached, his legal team, led by Tony Busby, held a theatrical and politically charged press conference to refute the claims that Paxton took bribes and abused his power. The speaker's followers and himself thought that they could pull off what could only be described as a drive-by shooting on a holiday weekend to politically assassinate one of the leading conservative voices, not only in Texas, but also in the United States. The House vote was more lopsided than Busby's colorful depiction suggests. 121 House members voted to impeach Paxton, 23 voted against. Now suspended from office, Paxton is waiting for a trial date in the Senate. Busby and his legal partner, Dan Cogdell, called the impeachment process rushed. To say this case is not about politics, has the credibility, the believability, and the sincerity of the fellow that's trying to convince his wife that he goes to the strip joint for the food. It's not about the naked women, sweetheart. It's about the food. Nonsense. It's definitionally political. A Senate team will present the rules for the trial on June 20th. Paxton's wife, Angela, is a Collin County senator and therefore one of the jurors. On Tuesday, Governor Abbott made his first public remarks on whether she should be recused. That's up to her to decide. Last week, the House impeachment manager, Chair Andrew Murr, introduced the other Houston legal team, the one prosecuting Paxton. Well-known attorneys Dick DeGarren and Rusty Hardin, who called for a fair and open trial. I was shocked at the details and facts of the allegations. This is not about a one-time misuse of an office. It's not about a two-time misuse of the office. It's about a pattern of misconduct and use in the office. The allegations of misconduct are centered around Paxton donor Nate Paul. Paxton is accused of giving Paul documents the FBI and DPS did not want released because Paul was under their investigation. Investigators say Paul gave bribes to Paxton in exchange, citing payments for upgrades to Paxton's kitchen. In the press conference, Busby says they have evidence to prove that is not true. Put up the receipts. We have the receipts. This is the type of evidence we tried to offer them. Once we found out this foolishness was going on. Busby says that they plan on calling about 66 witnesses to testify. Again, he's saying in his mind this trial may take a year, may not start this summer. Uh, we're supposed to find out on June 20th when that date will be set. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick said it's supposed to happen sometime before August 28th.